was late, but it's the start of the witching hour where witches gather to do witchcraft for real significant and permanently positive change. That's what this broadcast is about concerning the singer. article come across an article where Beyonce has a problem with another performer or another celebrity never never she literally minds her own business the reason why Beyonce is thought to be a witch is because she is black And as we know, black women are seen as Jezebel. Black women are seen as just objects. Black women are supposed to be beneath white women. Black women are not supposed to reach the height that Beyonce has hit. So she must be doing witchcraft according to Christians. Just keep it real, according to Christians, Beyonce must be doing witchcraft to reach the heights that she has achieved. But there's a problem with that, though. There's a big problem with that, though. Is Beyonce a witch? That is a big question that needs to be answered. The answer to that question is, it doesn't matter if she is a witch. Beyonce is a great performer. A great performer. A great performer. And she literally minds her own business. She literally minds her own business. Christians like to point to some of her lyrics, some of her videos. And she's absolutely gorgeous at that. And that goes back to Christians being jealous, Christians wanting to control people, Christians wanting to control women, especially black women. Because a black woman is not supposed to reach the heights that Beyonce has reached. So it's rooted in jealousy. It's rooted in jealousy. You know, Christians think that the music industry is controlled by Lucifer because Lucifer represents music. Lucifer supposedly controls the airwaves. 
Lucifer was supposedly a great singer in heaven before he was thrown down. Whatever. And they make up these stories about Beyonce, signing contracts with the devil, signing contracts with Satan, being a Luciferian. So what? Yes, they're all witches. Let me say this publicly and live here on Instagram and live here on Facebook. They're all witches who are Satanists, who are devil worshippers, who are Luciferians. They do exist. We have to acknowledge this. We can't just turn a blind eye to it. I don't know anything about the, mu the music industry. I don't believe that you have to sign away your soul or you have to sign a contract to reach the heights that Beyonce has reached. This same conspiracy theory has been told about Michael Jackson, about Prince. And it turned out to go nowhere. It's turned out to go nowhere. Where's the proof? Though? It's not enough to just say somebody is a witch. Where is the proof? I'll answer that question. There is no proof. You can't prove somebody is a witch. You can't prove it. Because you don't know what people do behind closed doors. You do not know what people do behind closed doors. And it's none of your goddamn business anyway. Why are you so concerned about what somebody does behind closed doors? Maybe Beyonce is as big and as popular as she is because she actually has talent. That a talentless who is saying that she's a witch do not have, can't have, will never have, and they're rooted in jealousy. Because they don't have it. They don't have that it factor that Beyonce has. They don't have it. They don't have it. If, you, if they had it, they would be in the position that Beyonce is in. And you don't want to really talk bad about Beyonce without the Beyhive bay, bay <laughs> coming after you. Forget about the Bay Hive for right now. Forget about the Bay Hive right now. We're here to talk about if Beyonce is a witch. The Bay Hive will sting you to death. They are like bumblebees. Bumblebees. Bzz, 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 bzz. That's why I said in my post, quiet down your buzzing, Bay Hive. Quiet down your buzzing, Bay Hive, and just listen to me. Listen to the high priestess tonight, or today, because today is, what, the fifth? Yeah, today is the fifth. Listen to me. I know that when people reach certain heights, a lot of jealousy comes with that. How did this person, how did this black person, let's keep it real, get to that height of success? And I, as a white person, did not. I don't know, maybe because... You don't have any talent. You don't have it. You suck at life. It's okay if you, listen, I said this before. There are winners and losers in life. That sounds cold. That sounds harsh. That sounds disrespectful. That sounds cruel. That sounds downright evil. But it's true. You either have it, it being, being able to grab people, hold on to them, Hold on to their attention so they pay attention to you. If you don't have that it factor, you just don't have it. Beyonce is a natural talent. Can we agree on that? Can we agree that Beyonce is a natural talent? She just has it. She has that star. She has that um, charisma. She has that personality. Like I said earlier, she literally does not bother anybody. And I've never come across an article at any tabloid where Beyonce has had a problem with someone. I've come across articles 
where people claim that Beyonce has put hexes and spells and curses on people. Okay, that's fine. Maybe you put a curse on yourself by talking about somebody who is actually talented, who is actually born talented, and that curse reflected back on you, sent back to you three times worse. And you are actually responsible for your own life being shit. When you touch people, when you put your mouth on people who are anointed, you will get it back. I said this before, Saturn, the planet of karma, is currently in retrograde. Saturn, the planet of karma, is currently in retrograde. So that means you will get back what you put in three times as good or three times as that the decision always lies in you the decision always lies in you i don't believe any of it when people go to tabloids to do interviews and beyonce and, and they say she's a jezebel or she's a witch or she's a, a satanist or a devil worshiper or a high priestess I don't believe any of it because why now why say it now why say it when she just came out with a new album or when she appears in a magazine that's the only time they ever talk about Beyonce is when she just came out with an album or she was just in a magazine they never talk about her other than that unless they are a member of the Bay High and it's always something negative. It's always some type of conspiracy theory about her. And like I said earlier, even if it's true that she's a witch, even if it is true, it doesn't matter. Because what are you actually going to do about it? You know, you, you, you think that when you have a problem with something, you have a solution for it. Christians who say Beyonce is a witch, this solution is just to pray on it. Pray it out of her. That's not a solution. Prayer, Christian prayers, do not work on witches. Because witches don't normally worship Jesus Christ. As a former Christian myself, I can say that without an ounce of boasting. Without an ounce of arrogance. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. It is the truth. It is the truth. They only talk about Beyonce when she just came out with an album. Or when she just appeared in a magazine. Just to sell those magazines. Just to get those clicks on their website. That's the only time. And like I said, what are you actually going... What are you physically going to do about it? Do you really think that you can just walk up to her house... And grab her and baptize her in the name of Jesus? Is that a fact? Is that, is that your reality? Are you really that stupid? Are you really that stupid? Some Christians are that damn fucked up in the head that they were actually trying to do that. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. They were actually trying to do that. They would. You know, so celebrities tend to live a very sheltered life because they are celebrities. Because they are celebrities, they know they have people who are wishing them harm, trying to get to them, trying to even kidnap them for ransom. They know that. So they live a very, celebrities live a very sheltered life. You know, they're a different person at home though. And you don't know how celebrities are at home because you're not at home with them. Beyonce can very easily have an altar in her house pentagrams pentacles everywhere she could be a satanist a devil worshiper a luciferian a member of the freemasons or illuminati so what so what what are you actually going to do about it are you afraid of her She's still a human being, even if she may be a Luciferian or a devil worshiper or a Satan. She is still a human being. Still. Still is. Still is. Like I said earlier, there are 
witches who are Satanists and who are devil worshippers and who are Luciferians. They do exist. Witch and Wiccan are two different things. I'm not going to get into that tonight, but witch and Wiccan are two different things. They're not the same thing. They're not the same thing. It's because Beyonce is black that she has to work hard. So maybe she is doing spells and rituals and hexes and curses. Maybe she is under the anointing of a high priest or a high priestess. Because she's black, she has to work harder. Do what you have to do. Do what you have to do. I, I truly believe that if people really did what they had to do, you wouldn't have so many people in this world that suck. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Because they would have done what they needed to do to not suck. To not suck. To not suck. If Beyonce is a witch, that's at her own discretion. It's a choice to become a witch. Forget about being born a witch. It's a choice to be a witch. This is coming from an actual witch that you're listening to and you're looking at right now. It's a choice. It's a choice. People become witches mostly because they are tired of going through life the hard way. Life should not be hard. Who lied to you? Life should not be hard. But it's real hard when you are black. You might not want to hear that, but it's true. I'm not playing a race card. No, stop that. I'm not playing a race card. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not playing a race card. I'm telling you which is the truth. For you witches who are ready to receive this message, I'm not playing a race card. I'm not. Most people become witches because they no longer want to go through life the hard way. Aren't you tired? Of being sick and tired. You wake up every single day. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Well, what are you going to do to change it? Nothing changes if nothing changes. You have to actually do something. You have to do something for something to change. And that something may be witchcraft. And that's fine. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with doing witchcraft who are other people consider selfish reasons. Beyonce is a natural talent. She doesn't need to do witchcraft to be able to sing and dance at all. Beyonce does not need to do witchcraft to sing and dance at all. At all. If you know Beyonce, you know that she has it going on. She has it going on. If you like her or not, you know Beyonce has it going on. And Beyonce does not need to do spells or rituals to make herself a better singer or a better performer or a better dancer. She don't need to do that. She already has that shit on lockdown. She already has that shit locked. She, she, she can already do it. Now, she may be doing witchcraft to hold on to it. She may be doing witchcraft to hold on to it. And that's fine, too. Because if you don't hold on to it, of course you're going to lose it. Of course you're going to lose it. If you don't do witchcraft for a long, long time, it's hard to get back into it. I'm not saying you have to do spells every single day, but you don't ever want to go one month without doing any spells. Because then you start to lose the power that you built up to bring real significant and permanently positive change into your life. You start to lose it because you're not using it. If you don't use it, you lose it. it. You lose it over time. Okay, You lose it over time. You lose it over time. 
all of these conspiracy theories about Beyonce being a Satanist or a Luciferian or a devil worshiper are by the same people who believe in conspiracy theories around the deaths of JFK and RFK, the 9-11 attacks. They believe conspiracy theories about the, the pandemic that we're currently in. These are all conspiracy theorists. They must not be taken seriously. They feed on chaos. They spew chaos. They create chaos. Because it brings the attention back on them and make people who are ignorant or just downright stupid rely on them for information that is wrong. That is wrong. Conspiracy theorists, they're funny people because they make up stories they know to be a lie. So that people who are ignorant or don't know any better can use them as a reference to say, Oh, John said and Ariana said this, so it must be true, even though it's proven to be total nonsense and quite bluntly bullshit. 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 Did I mention bullshit? Yeah. Bullshit. It's not true. When you are a big star, when you are loved by the people, when you are really, really loved by the people, when people actually like you, you have people coming around, you have wolves and snakes coming around you, or if they can't get to you, they make up shit about you that's not true. Or they make up shit about you that they can't prove. Or they try to get into your business. Or they try to say such and such like Beyonce is a big star because she sold her soul to the devil because the devil represents music. Lucifer represents music. Is that all you got? Is that really all you got? Where's the proof though? You said Beyonce signed a contract with the devil. You said Beyonce is in league with Satan. Where's the proof? Even if there was proof, do you think she's going to leave that contract laying around so that it can be found by you? Or be talked about outside of her family? Of course not. Of course not. And like I said earlier, I can't say this enough. What are you actually going to do about it? Are you going to go into her house, pull her out, and in the name of Jesus, come out of her demon? Give me a break. Give me a break. When they can't find the proof, they move on to a different conspiracy theory that they made up in their sick head. They come up with a different conspiracy theory about Beyonce when they can't find a proof. They, they will never be able to find a proof in either way to prove that she is either a witch, a Satanist, a devil worshiper, or any part of the pagan community. Satanists, devil worshippers, Luciferians, they are all pagan. They are all part of the occult. You don't know what people do behind closed doors. You really don't. And truly speaking, you don't really want to know what people do behind closed doors. You don't want to know. Sometimes it's what you don't know that gets you through the night. Sometimes it's what you don't know that gets you through the night. In some cases, you really do have to buckle down, sit down, shut up, and mind your own business. Or go find some business to mind. But don't make up business about me or make up business about celebrities that you really don't know. Because you don't know what they're like at home behind closed doors. You don't know what they are like behind closed doors. So you don't. You can't say that you do. You don't. You have not a clue. You have not a clue what celebrities do behind closed doors. If Beyonce is a witch, she's a very good one. If she's a Satanist or a devil worshiper, she's a very good one. Because she's quiet about it. 
she's quiet about it if it's true if beyonce is a devil worshiper a satanist a luciferian she's a good one because she's quiet about it she doesn't have a big mouth she doesn't have a big mouth witches know already not to talk so much about the cry to anybody that would portray it or betray them i don't know what beyonce religious affiliation is i don't think she's ever mentioned it before because i don't think she's ever mentioned her religious affiliation because it's not relevant it's not important it means nothing concerning her art and beyonce yes is a artist I don't care how you feel about Beyonce in regards to the occult. Beyonce is a artist. She is. She, is. she comes out with great hits. She's a great dancer. People listen to her. If Beyonce were to say, I'm running for president in 2024, she would win. Oh, no, she won't. Yes, she would. Yes, she would. If Beyonce announced today that she's running for president, she would win. Oh, no, she wouldn't. That's taking it too far. No, it's not. When you are generally, authentically loved by the people, there's nothing you can't be. There's nothing you can't do. There's no one you can't influence. I'm not talking about influencing people with witchcraft i'm talking about influencing people just by being you just by being you just by being you because when you have that it factor you don't have to work that hard you do not have to work that hard when you have that it factor you do not have to work that hard when you have that it factor because you already have it and those who don't have it tend to be jealous of you, tend to be about witches, witchcraft, spells, rituals, hesses, curses, high priests, high priestesses. I've never heard her mention any of those things. But people like to point out lyrics in her song that are and that that, that they say are anti-christian or is you know the voice of jezebel or evil or demonic or you know they say her on a white horse is her proclaiming the apocalypse is upon us listen the apocalypse has been upon us since 2020 so beyonce being on a white horse doesn't symbolize anything new underneath the sun you've seen her album cover i don't have a picture right now but you've seen her album cover she's on a white horse the white horse is supposed to represent you know one of the fourth horsemen of the apocalypse i think i think it's supposed to represent death yeah we've been in that since 2020 we're still in that today the president just announced that monkeypox is now a national problem, a national emergency. And yes, New York has a very high percentage of cases. 
I'm a New Yorker. I live in New York, so I know this to be true. But when it comes, when it comes to conspiracy theory, they are very entertaining. Just keep that in mind. Conspiracy theorists, theories are meant to entertain you. They're not meant to be taken seriously. You know that the earth is round. You know that the earth is not 6,000 years old. You know that dinosaurs and humans never coexisted together. We know that bats are actually mammals. We know that the sky is blue, unless it's cloudy outside. Okay, we know this. We know this. Don't let conspiracy theories... Cons conspiracy theorists trip you up fuck you up can i say it just like that don't let them do it to you don't let them do it to you it's 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 amusing to me when i see conspiracy theorists my beyonce every time she comes out with a new album or a new magazine spread and it gets it gets more and more ridiculous that's probably why she don't put out that many albums anymore. That's probably why she don't appear in many magazine spreads anymore. Because she don't want to have to see these conspiracy theories about her. That may or may not be true. If they're true, fine. If they are not true, that's fine too. Because that's Beyonce's personal business. Nobody is being controlled by Beyonce. She's not making people puppets people like beyonce because they just like beyonce i like beyonce too i do i really do but she doesn't control me she doesn't control anybody else she may want to control people but she can't because everybody has got to make a choice Everybody has got to make a choice. You are free to make a choice, but you are not free of the consequences of your choice. You're not. Absolutely not. You're not. Everybody has got to make a choice. If Beyonce has signed a deal or signed a contract with the devil or with Satan or with Lucifer, or with the Illuminati, or with the Freemasons, or, you know, any globalist, con globalist thing, thingy, so what? Just enjoy her music. Conspiracy theories say these things about Beyonce to stop people from buying her albums, from buying magazines that she's in. Because they're jealous of her. They're bitterly jealous because their own lives suck. They have nothing going for them. Literally nothing. They don't have a pot to piss in. And they definitely don't have a window to throw it out of. They don't. They really don't. When you don't have anything in life, you can't help but make up stories so that you can be more relevant than the person you're lying on, putting your mouth on. And like I said earlier, Saturn, the planet of karma, is currently in retrograde. These people spreading these rumors about Beyonce are going to be dealt with. It's not going to go out of venge. It's going to be avenged. Either by Beyonce because she is a witch all by the universe. Simple as that. You should not put your mouth, put your fingers, put your conspiracy theories, put your rumors on people you do not know personally. Because you do not know what people do behind closed doors. The answer to this question tonight, is Beyonce a witch? She may be a witch that is still in a closet.
That means she's not open to the public. She's not coming out wearing a pentacle like I am or a pentagram or, you know, praising and worshiping openly. He can't say the queen of witches. She may be a closet sitting witch. Or she just may be a normal person. Charismatic, personality, talent, real talent, effortlessly talent, skills. Has it go has it totally going on? Okay, let me just say it totally has it going on. The question of is Beyonce a witch? My answer to that would have to be no. My answer is no. Because she's not out in the public. You are a witch by my standards. Now, I'm a high priestess. I can't say this. When you are out in the open. When you are out in the open without any fear of prosecution. Without any fear of being, you know, chased down and burned at the stake or hung at the gallows. Without any fear. So Beyonce may have fear about coming out of the closet if she happens to be a witch. But my answer is no. Beyonce is not a witch or a Satanist or a devil worshiper or a Luciferian. No. Because she will be out. And you might say, oh, well, she can't be out because she'll lose her fan base. This is the Bay Hive we're talking about. If she came out and said, I'm a witch, the Bay Hive would want to be under the anointing of high priests and high priestesses like myself to also become witches like their idol, Beyonce. If Beyonce is a witch, she's just not ready to come out in the public. Or she does fear that her career will be in jeopardy. Or her career could be over. But I don't believe her career would be over. The Bay Hive will still be the Bay Hive. They will still love her. They wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. Why? Because Beyonce creates good shit. Beyonce makes good shit. She does. She absolutely does. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, she does. Without a doubt, she does. But Beyonce being a witch is her business. Beyonce being a devil worshiper or a Satanist or a Luciferian, that's her business. Not mine, not yours. Only the people who are close to her and more importantly, the people in her family know. But of course, her family members are not going to betray her. They're not. Family sticks together. Real family sticks together. So that was tonight's broadcast. But I answered the question, is Beyonce a witch? I didn't take, a, I didn't take up too much of your time. I, I just wanted to just dive into it. Get into the nitty gritty. Get down into the root cause of Beyonce being called the witch. And I answered the question. And with all of that, thank you witches for joining me this early morning. Thank you. Be blessed in the name of Hikate. And with that, I release you into the rest of your day. Bye everyone.